so today I am going to be showing you my new and improved makeup tutorial. I feel like before I definitely was really into like powder and like really bright shiny highlighter and like really making my brows like big and I've kind of just like brought it back a little bit. This is the look that I've just created that you're about to go and see. I'm definitely into like liquid blush at the moment and just like really like subtle highlight rather than the big shiny highlight still. So I've kind of updated my makeup routine a little bit. So if you guys want to go and see the new techniques and different things and see how I've created this look, then check out the rest of this video. But before you do, can you please just like and subscribe to my channel, please? It would mean the world. And also follow me on my socials, LooseHappleton21 on Instagram and TikTok. But yeah, let's go create this look together. Hey guys, so as I said, we're going to be going in with my new and updated everyday makeup look. So first we go in with the primer. I have moisturised and everything before this. So first we go in the prime. I'm still using the exact same primer as before, so it's the Professional Benefit Primer. Um, so again, as I explained before, I love this. One, because it's like the same colour as your skin, which I'm in love with. And it's just a really nice, smooth texture. And it just really does its job. It keeps your makeup on. Um, I feel like it's not harsh to my skin either. So I just really like this product. Okay, so next is foundation. My... Routine before I would put concealer on but I've now just started putting my foundation on I just get a little bit more foundation than I used to to just get like full coverage and um, just because I feel like That's what a lot of makeup artists have been doing and things that I've been seeing but also as well like chucking concealer Like just on my spots is just gonna like not let them get any air whatsoever And I felt like my skin is actually getting better since I've stopped doing this So NARS is my absolute go-to if you follow me on TikTok You know that I always say NARS is my go-to but at the moment I am a bit pale um, so I am mixing it with just a paler MAC product at the moment just because I haven't been able to get a chance and go get colour matched properly for my paler colour in the NARS. Um, so I'm mixing the NARS um, foundation in shade Syracuse. So this is my like summer colour. Um, that's why I'm like just a little bit pale for it at the moment. And then I'm maxing it with the MAC Studio Fix foundation um, in NC25. Um, and this is just, mixing these two together is just coming out like the perfect colour at the moment. Ideally I just want the NARS because I feel as though MAC can be a little bit like oily for me. Um, because I have a really oily T-zone. But mixing the two together at the moment has actually been fine. So once I've got this all mixed on my hand, I get my big beauty blender. So this is a Real Techniques one. It's the extra large beauty blender. I get this for when I'm doing my foundation. I just feel like the bigger base just is better for going all around my face. And then I get my Revolution Face Fix um, setting spray. Um, and I just spray this on the brush. Mix the foundation two shades together. And then just dab all over my face. Definitely dab um, and don't like wipe. It just goes on better and get, gives you better coverage. I always go underneath my eyebrows, but I do, I, like, I'm not as bothered if I'd miss bits underneath my eye because we're gonna like set under my eye and conceal. Okay, so after foundation and I feel like that's on and it's set nicely and the coverage is okay we're everywhere that I want it, I then go in straight to conceal. Now, I used to actually put powder on and then conceal, but I've actually found that you don't need to put all that powder on and it's just going to flake off your face and actually just going straight to conceal is the better way. So I've actually followed the rest of the world and I'm just going straight to conceal. So I'm still using one of my favourite products, the Benefit um, Anti-Age Eraser in shade Warm Light. Um, but I've changed how I do it now so I don't go into the triangle. I just do one little dot under each eye here and then I do a big line just up here because we're wanting to try and like elevate the face and not create just all blockage down here. Still go above my lip, a little cross on my chin and then a little triangle on my forehead. We then go in with the, which is actually becoming one of my new favourite concealers ever to be fair, it's the Maybelline Fit Me um, concealer for my brown shade um, and this is shade 50. Um, and I just get this and I just do three little dots up here. I used to do them way lower, but I try and go higher now. And then just three little dots around the sides of my head. And then again, just three little dots. 
a dot at each side of my nose and then I like to just do three strokes of whatever's left on the brush underneath my neck just because we like to contour that neck. And then to blend out my contour, I'm still using this By KD Silicon Sponge. Um, it's just amazing and I've had it for years and I've never had to buy a new one. I just keep on top of washing it and it's literally amazing. I recommend anyone to go get a silicon contour sponge. Again, same as with the foundation, you just dab rather than like do strokes. Okay, so once I'm happy with how the white has blended out, I then go in to blend the brown contour. And then once you're happy with how that's all blended out, you are done with that. I then go in for my baking powder, setting powder, whatever you like to call it. I'm still using the Revolution Baking Powder in shade Banana. Um, I really do find this useful. I then go in with my 99p Home Bargains Beauty Blender and I pop it on with the smaller end. I just feel like this gives me more pre precision and detail for where I want the setting powder to go. So I kind of do the same as the contour. I do one little dot here and then I put the powder on the contour where I've gone. Then I just follow it up my nose with the small side and then this is when I get the big side to just tap over my forehead. And that is it and I just leave this to set while we get on with other things. So normally while I'm waking, waiting for my powder to set and just bake a little bit, I go in and I do my eyebrows. So I am still using the original brow soap. I'm absolutely in love with this. Um, and what I do is I get my setting spray again um, and just give it a few little squirts. Get my little brush, mix it in with the setting spray. And then I just go and brush the eyebrows up. So once I've got them brushed up with the brow soap, I then go in with the Benefit Eyebrow Setter. This is again the same that I'm using. So this is the Benefit Eyebrow Setter. And this is just going to keep my eyebrows in place for the day and make sure they don't move around. So I literally just go over with the same stroking up action where I've just brushed the eyebrows just so that they set for the day. Then after I've gone in with that, I go in with the Benefit Gimme Brow product. And this just like evens out the colour, gives them a bit more volume. If there's spaces where I've got little gaps, this will just like darken it out to match the rest of my eyebrow. And I've actually found using this has made me need the eyebrow pencil a lot less. And now I really only use my eyebrow pencil to just like flake little bits up if I want them to look fluffy, rather than filling in places. like so and then once I've done that I go in with the eyebrow pencil at the end once I've done all of my makeup and just to like go over if I want to fluff them out or anything but I just get um, a little eyebrow brush and I just again brush them up making sure I've got them in exactly the place I want and then I'll leave them to set okay so once I've done my eyebrows we then go in to do the eyes again while I'm still baking I like to keep this baking as long as possible um so to go with the eye with the eyeshadow base this accidental purchase which was actually in my other um, makeup tutorial has turned out to be really useful to me I am going to like definitely experiment and I know people recommend the P Louise one like crazy so I'm going to buy that but I'm still using my NYX um just eyeshadow base um, it comes in this little pot. I just am really liking it. Again, it's skin tone, which is really good for me. I feel like white on me would just maybe be a bit much. And because I'm not like crazy amazing at like eyeshadow makeup, I just feel like having the skin tone is just works best for me. So I just get my little flat brush and I go underneath the eyebrow and then onto my eyelid. So 
So once I've primed, I then go in with eyeshadow. Now, I have absolutely been loving my new brush set um, from Look to Lash. I'll put the link below. But these brushes are actually my new favourite brushes. I'm only using the eyeshadow ones now, but there's, she has like full face brushes as well, which I cannot wait to just experiment with and use. Um, so, I am using these two brushes from the Look to Lash collection at the moment for my eyes. I've watched a few tutorials myself on eye makeup and I feel like I have actually got better, guys, at blending. So these are the two brushes I'm using at the minute. The actual just like quality and feel of the brushes is insane. Um, so the new palette that I'm like kind of obsessed with is the Huda Beauty Nude um, Light Palette. Um, this is what it looks like inside, although I have actually crushed one of the colours by accident but they're just really nice colours. So I'm going to go in with this colour in the bottom corner um, and I get my really like thin brush and I just do like a semicircular motion around my eyelid and then what I like to do is draw a line out so we've got like a little shape like this and I like to just go over this twice and then just come into the lid a little bit with the sharp brush and then I get my blending brush and I have no other products but I just brush upwards from the side from where I've drawn it and then I brush upwards from the lid and this is just going to help it blend into the shape that I want so brushing upwards for so it goes outwards and um, towards my arch of my eyebrow and then from the line that I drew, I go upwards, inwards, towards this part of my eyebrow. But just with a little bit of colour, we've managed to get quite a lot of eyeshadow. So what I tend to do then is, I don't do that process again. I just get my little blend brush and just dab it um, a couple of times on the colour. Then brush it off and then just go over it again with a couple of little dabs. Then once I've done the dabs, I then do the blending technique again. Then once we've done that, I then just get my Primark brush with the like big end and small end. I get the big end and I go in with this white colour in the middle. And this is how I just um, dab this onto my eyelid. So we've got that gradual effect of it going from the white to the pink. Like so. I then grab my Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in shade C8 and I just put a tiny little bit on the lid of my eye because we're going to be putting in some glitter um, eyeshadow so then I go in with this colour and I just grab my finger and I just dab it over where I've put the concealer in the middle of my eye again we're creating this gradual effect so it's going from the white to the pink glitter out to the pink the like more pinky brown colour that I've blended and then we have one eye just kind of really subtle simple but it's definitely like there and apparent on your face okay so then when the other eye is done we then go back to our small brush and um, back to our palette and the same colour that I did the outer colour with the blending um, I just like to go underneath my eye just to create a little bit of an eyeliner under eye look don't necessarily worry as much about the lines for now because we're going to sort it all out when we finish off our face makeup. And that is the eyeshadow done. Now I'm going to go back to the face. I feel like I've been baking for long enough now. I can come back to my 99p beauty blender and I just dab out this baking powder. So once I've blended that out and I'm happy with it, I go back to my Revolution Concealer. And you just get a little bit to just follow up the line where I've got the crease. And this is just going to sharpen the line. And then I just get my finger and dab. And as you can see, this just sharpens the line. Um, it just makes it a little bit more put together. And then it finish off my face makeup. So then we go in with the... Hula Benefit Bronzer, still using the same. I absolutely love it. I'm still just using the brush that it comes with and I just dab over the contour line. And then I just brush whatever was left onto my forehead, just making sure I really blend that out. Again, any remains just on my nose. 
on my neck. So we've got more of a defined line now. Then we go in with my absolute new favourite product, the MUA Blush Liquid Cream in Misty Rose. It was £3 from Beauty Bay. I'm absolutely in love with it. So I just get the tiniest amount of product on my hand. And when I say the tiniest amount, that's probably even too much. And then with my finger, I just get a little bit of the product and I pop it on where I want it to go. So I normally just go just above the contour line where I've just gone. And then I get my Revolution. Um, it's actually a foundation blending brush, but I really, I use it for this. Um, and I just dab over this where I've done it, going up and down the contour line. This is just going to give me a little bit of pinkness and colour to my face. I'm absolutely in love with it. I can't believe I never used liquid blush before. And then once I'm happy with the colour of the blush, I then go in with the Strobe Cream Hydrant Luminux uh, MAC uh, little highlighter. It's like a liquid highlighter. Again, I just get a really small amount on my finger. And then I go just above where I've done... And I just dab it in with my finger. It's a really subtle highlight. If I was going out, I would definitely put like a proper highlight on, but it's just like a really nice subtle highlight for your everyday makeup. I then go in with my eyeliner. I'm still using the Benefit the Benefit Roller Eyeliner. Absolutely loving it. I just find like it's a lot easier to go on. I used to do a lot bigger flicks in my previous makeup routine and um, now I just go for like real much smaller flicks. Um, and again, I start, pull my skin, I start out from the outer part and then go inwards. I don't go all the way round. I tend to just stop it quite near the corner of my eye because then I put lashes on and that it's just to give a little bit of a flick at the side. And that is my eyeliner. It looks a bit weird when you haven't got lashes on because you have just got little flicks and then it stops in the middle. But trust the process, once I've got the lashes on, you can see that I just wanted to create a little bit of a flick. I'm not um, a genius or that amazing at eyeliner. It definitely could be a lot nicer, slimmer, neater, but we're still on the learning process together, guys. Um, so then I glue up my lashes. Now, the lashes I'm going to be using are these ones I've been gifted. Um, so these are from Voco Lashes. These are called Cloud9. Um, so I'm really excited to use these ones. So I'm just going to cut these and glue these up. Um, and then whilst the glue is drying, we will do the lipstick. Okay, so whilst my eyelash is gluing up, we're going to go in with my absolute new favourite mascara ever, the Benefit Real Magnetic Mascara. It's just so good. I'm someone that doesn't have great lashes like me. Um, it's just perfect. So I just do one coat of this and it's just going to help the eyelashes stick on. This mascara is that good though with just like a couple of like layers. You could definitely feel like you're wearing like little lashes. And I am taking an eyelash serum at the moment to try and help grow my eyelashes. Um, so if they actually like do grow, I want to get to the point where I'm not wearing fake lashes all the time. But because I feel like fake lashes are really good for when you're going out but not for all the time. Okay, so while the glue is still setting, we're going to go in with the Kylie Jenner Lip Clear. This is my favourite one, the Candy Cane Matte version. I do have the like velvet version in the shade called Bear, um, which I love as well. But my all-time favourite is this. I do just love a matte lipstick. So going with the lip liner, I do, if for people that are wanting to create that like bigger lip illusion, I do like overline at the bottom lip here. But I always make sure that I never overline when it comes to the sides because then it just looks really messy and out of place. So I always just bring it in perfectly, even a little bit in my line um, at the sides. And then again, I'll overline at the top here, but then bring it in at the sides. Before I go in with my favourite lipstick. Okay, so now I've got my lashes on, um, we are done with the makeup, that is everything. So I then just get my setting spray, my Revolution Base Fix setting spray, and just give it a little spray. But yeah, this is my new makeup routine. 
Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that makeup tutorial. So this is the final look. I didn't actually even go back through it with the eyebrow pencil because I just feel like my brows are big enough. They look fluffy enough for me. I feel like I would, if I was going out and I wanted them to be quite bigger and more volume, I would add the eyebrow pencil. But this is like my just new makeup routine. I feel like it is a little less full on. It's still full on, definitely. Um, but it's a little less full on um, than what I used to go for. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've just maybe picked up a little um, few new techniques or whether it's just that you've picked up on some products that you weren't using I'll leave all of the links below but yeah thank you for watching this I do have my hair care routine and skincare routine available as well if you guys want to go and check that out but thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video